We're gonna get more emo Livia scenes. The past couple episodes has just been so bad between Angie and Livia, and this is all because of that fucking bitch with the you know the bangs and the you know I forgot her name. I, I don't even know her. You know the really mean one right now, the main antagonist, right? She's basically calling, "Hey Livia, you're like a pet to them." And honestly, the way that we're treating Livia as like this NPC saint that we're just trying to level up. It's not kind of wrong, right? And it's really interesting to see how the development of Leon and Livia's relationship is becoming because Leon's like, oh yeah, she's supposed to be with the husbandos. Fucking Greg and what's his name? Brad and Greg. Purple and red. I can't believe I'm even like remembering their names. They're getting character development. They're straight up getting character development and they're becoming better, which sucks for me because I can't shit on them anymore. But it feels like we're getting like more distant from Livia, right? And she's going back to the main role of being the protagonist of this show. What's Leon gonna do from here on out? I don't really know. Let's begin today's reaction though. Oh yeah, we got some rewards from the Clarice family. What does Shiverto mean? It's gotta mean something, right? Ah, okay. Sword? Cool. cool. Kinda pit my ride. All oh, right, he did get promoted. The dad gave us a bunch of shit. Yeah. In a good way? Are, are they actually... That was just a bunch of fucking gold diggers, man. I hate you too. Yep, they only see you for your status. Okay. Where are we going? Where's the mom at? Oh, probably the sage item? Yeah. Okay, we're with the blue hair guy. Wait, they're there too? That's awkward. Uh oh. A Giga Chad. Unlike you, wanna be nobles is a title. Oh, we're talking shit today? Okay. I and mean, we always do. That's so bougie. Water ski? Uh oh. Awkward. Awkward. Who do we even talk to? Oh, God. Maybe we just ignore. Oh. Based on her curls, and I think she's about to do the Ojo Sama laugh, right? Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> That's a nice one. That's a nice one. But they always have the curls, huh? Miss Deirdre. Okay. <laughs> the, the, there's a laugh again. Pre-watch? No. You can tell. You, there's two things that you can tell immediately. Everybody who's centering around there, she's got curls. And look at this hand motion. Ready? As soon as she put the hand toward, because usually it's it's like this, right? It's, it's like this, but then she uses the fan, so you know, it, you pretty much can see it coming. <laughs> the other day, Sama, okay. Oh? oh, it's Chris! Fuck you, Chris. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. All the girls are like, yeah, Chris! And Chris is like, hmm. And then they're like, oh my god, he's so perfect. A little bit giga chat of him ignoring the girls, but Chris is fucking annoying too. I'm gonna shit on him too, yeah. Well, I have. Before he has character development redemption, I'll still shit on him. Olivia, emo as usual. Okay, we ignore her as usual. Be more passive aggressive. What's going on here? Wait. Dynamite? <laughs> Who's they? Who ordered you? What? Oh, okay. Dynamite! <laughs> Livia suddenly in a... Wait. Is this... The, the, the festival is happening right now, though. Okay, okay, okay. That's something only you can answer. Oh, this is awkward. Oh, ooh, what do you even do? Walk away? If you walk away, it's, the, it's even more awkward. Oh, God. Let's talk. And she's here too. What the fuck is this coincidence? It's almost like this is fucking written that way. Lolly Shrine Maiden. 
Okay, we got a lolly shrine maiden. Huh, but there are three people here. <laughs> she probably she probably doesn't even know the value of that coin compared to anything else. Is it? <laughs> Levy is just fucking pops out a gold coin. Levy is like, what the fuck? That's so much money. Bro just fucking stacks kind of bills. God, please help me find a wife. I mean, is that not the mother? Julius's mom is exactly everything that Leon is describing, man. Maybe she's a little naughty too, right? I mean, she's got her eyes set on us. Hmm. Imagine the goth from 100 Girlfriends shows up. She's probably thinking about Livia, maybe? <laughs> they all suck. Hey, Greg and Brad are doing a little bit better, though. What is this Lolly doing? Why does she keep looking at us? Okay. Is this like that tells you good fortune, bad fortune, stuff like that? What? Okay. So you get like. Okay, these are actually really important items. Oh, these are like really important items. Okay, okay. No, all for me. Okay, thanks. Okay, never mind. I thought he'd just take it. Itadakimasu? Isn't that what you said before you eat? Gotcha! And did we get it? Did we get what we want? Super rare? What? Okay, good pulls, good pulls. Don't worry about it, it's a game mechanic. Anyways, don't worry about affinity. It's got swords, what is that? It looks pretty important, huh? Looks like he got the role he wanted. Oh, it's just basically melee boosts. Okay. Buffs melee combat. What did she just say? It's shaped a little differently from the one I'm familiar with, though. Meaning this is actually different. I feel like this is kind of important. Like, why would you immediately say this really abruptly? And I, I feel like this is kind of important. So it's a little bit different from what we're expecting. Did we? Did Leon? Did Leon? I, maybe Angie and Livia did, but... Thoroughly, though. She didn't play it thoroughly, though, right? She let her brother fucking beat the game. War route? I want the mom route, man. Oh? Who the fuck is this? Do we know her? I don't think we... I'm not crazy, right? This is a new character, right? Completely new character, but hmm, long black hair, red eyes, ooh, we got and sword too on top of that? Damn, that design is crazy. That's a great character design. Yes, and we won. I'll fight you with the fucking shovel. What? Fuck, we're about to get character development and redemption. No, he's gonna talk about the insecurities, about the things that his dad forced him to do when he feels so insecure, and then, oh no, he's gonna have one of the... Is he gonna have a development scene right now? Fuck, I can't even hate on this guy either. What the fuck, man? <laughs> You've never worked a day in your life. That's rich coming from a rich boy, but maybe his background is something different that I'm just like... Kind of, uh, I'm, I'm stereotyping him, right? <laughs> Yo, what about that smoke thing? The dynamite looking thing that they dropped. Alright, well, forget about that. Whoa, flying fish! Oh no! So scary! Who are they? Is that the, the black hair girl with the red eyes? Probably, right? 
So this is like end game shit showing up early. Is that our backup? Wait. Holy shit. The princess. Oh, I'm confused. So that's the other side around. So, so the people that's from our side right now helping out is the princess? This this the princess of the Duke them? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Princess Hertrude. Claire? Kind of looks like it, yeah? I mean, the ship is kind of crazy. Holy fuck, look at the size of this thing compared to everything else. Oh my god. I, the first princess of the Thanos Duke, though. Hertrude. Other country princess, yeah. W war route? <laughs> Suddenly, an antagonist has shown out of nowhere? I guess she is. Why is the third year event happening now? I mean, this isn't the first time that we've had the order of the game events be in different places, right? I thought this is all because we're kind of just like, you know, we've ever since we've gotten into the game, nothing has been the way it should be, but... The ordering of the events happening differently has been a reoccurring theme, right? I don't know. Maybe making Olivia mad? I don't know. What is this dude? <laughs> He's got such an evil mustachio, dude. The one time we'll actually don't know what they're gonna do with the people they have no interest in. I'm they're, they're not gonna let them go free, right? But he's like, only the higher ranks we're gonna take. The lower ranks, we don't care. So maybe that means they're gonna just throw off the fucking ship. I don't know. Maybe they'll sell them off, but <laughs> that's kind of funny. <laughs> Damn, demi humans get the fuck out. Jesus. Oh, Angie. Rafa. Okay, I know her full name now. Damn! Only Angie, just take me. What a hero. So you promised to let everyone else go? Oh, Leon! Motherfucker. Nobody made her say it. Maybe these guys are in the right? I'm not really sure. I feel like this is out of respect for Angie, though. Oh. Bro, are you... If only he knew that we're the Shovel Knights. Oh? Please try. <laughs> Please try. You're gonna make everyone gang up on us? No, right? Oh, really? He just has to take it. He actually has to fucking take it. Holy shit. That's crazy. I I mean, this is like an actual heroic moment for Leon in a self-sacrifice way. This sucks, man. This fucking sucks. Because she's different. Oh, no. Don't make her grovel. Don't. Don't. Ah. <laughs> this guy, dude. We gotta, we gotta fucking rip his mustache out, dude. Something. Oh, my God. Yo, 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 yo. Of, of all the characters? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Of all these characters, this guy right here has seen some shit. Look at his eyes. Everyone else just looks kind of neural. And then there's this guy right here. You guys right in the middle? Right over here? This dude <laughs> has seen some shit. Look at his eyes. <laughs> what? <laughs> This is building up towards a great revenge time, man. Oof, the fucking sucks right now. Yes, the pain you feel, the suffering, it's important because when we shit on them later, the payoff is going to be so much better. But right now, 
We gotta take some fucking L's. And yeah, Angie's false betrayed her, huh? It was even the girls that threw the thing down, right? It's a smoke, so it wasn't a dynamite. It was more like a marking to tag where they are, right? Interesting. Interesting. Oh, goddamn. Look at the princess, though, huh? I like her design. Well, then what's her wind condition? Monsters? CGI fish monster? Is that your wind condition? Livia and Leon. You forced them to do it! <laughs> that was an evil laugh. You kind of a bitch, huh? Wait, we're locked in in the same... Almost like same cell? I mean, <laughs> I can't have the crying girls. <laughs> yeah, she's very empathetic, for sure. Fuck! Chris is the one that's gonna save us? I can't hate on him anymore! All these characters are getting development! He's fucking saving us and nobody will? And you know we're gonna talk about his fucking family issues with his dad, you know, fuck. And yeah, I even said Chris, I'm not even saying blue guy anymore. Fuck, I'm actually remembering their names. Fuck. It is what it is, alright? Dub Chris, let's go. Shovel Knight, it's time to it's time to come out. No, it's time to come out and fight. We also have that sword ship, right? Schwertz or something? Didn't we say we're gonna take it on a test ride? Is it still out? Does it matter in this arc? <laughs> Honestly, I kind of feel the same way. Fuck him. <laughs> Immediate rejection, but damn, Chris actually asked. Oh, 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 wait. But. Alright, we're a team now. Here we go. So obviously they won't listen to us, but they might listen to Chris. Does Chris have enough charisma, though, to lead them? Yeah, and not, not only is he first here, right? He's like seniors too. Plus, he has been kind of just like disowned. But wait, this girl right here, this girl right here, this girl right here, this girl right here. They're all copy pasting. It doesn't really matter, but I think it's hilarious. Oh, <laughs> oh, what the fuck, Leon? He's got a gun. True, and we're gonna be six ranked pretty soon too. An order. That's a giga chat speech. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, they'll kill you right now. Damn. Title drop of this episode. Unlike you wanna be nobles. God damn, yo, Leon is kind of being the villain, but what a speech right now. We will fight. <laughs> you can't talk back anymore, can you? Oh, it's the prince, it's the Ojo sama again. Wait. Oh, Kale's daughter. No. Who the fuck are you? Straight up, who the fuck are you? We just met you today, okay? Whoa, Roseblade. Fucking put yourself to work then. Okay, so she's pretty high ranking. Talk more shit, talk more shit. Yeah, and we're about to get promoted to 6th rank too. Okay. But that's your family. Did you do anything? What the fuck did you do other than get the right spawn point? Straight up! 
you're just leeching off of your family. Like, what have you done individually, bro? You're just fucking getting carried and carried by what your family's done. You can't talk back. You know it's true. Ooh. Angie stood up, but she fucking cowered. Oh, the soundtrack's going crazy right now, too. This is so true. Will this rally them up, though? Will this actually motivate them? They're getting more pissed off, but... Yo, he is absolutely tearing into them, but he's so right. Damn. Yo, what a speech. So is everyone gonna say, Woo, let's go, or... Yeah. Yeah, abs absolutely we can. What are you gonna do there? Are you gonna help out at least? Oh? oh? Okay, hold up! Which means... Hey! I mean, they're still a little bit pissed off at us. But we did light a fire under their asses. And everything we said is absolutely true. All they're doing is flexing their ancestor. What our families done. But what have you done individually? Technically, they should have some capable powers too, right? So goddamn. We really just rallied everyone by just antagonizing ourselves. But then using Daedri as like the center figure to rally that group, huh? Pretty smart. Pretty smart. I wonder if he planned this. Yo, I never realized how fucked Livia was this episode. Wow, she got roughed up. Huh? Oh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we have a new candidate towards the harem. We have day <laughs> she's a little bit blushing. I think she So here's the thing I noticed, huh? Bitchy stuck up girls, if you bark back, if you like confront them and match their energy and you overpower them, they sometimes end up like this, right? Sometimes it doesn't work out. But if you do it correctly, what I've noticed is that they sometimes like the fact that you match their energy and kind of like dominated them, and then the princess will now submit. <laughs> A trained dog? Oh, what a savage. I'm still with the mommy. I'm still meeting. Yeah, I'm still with the queen. Angelica no no Joshita. Oh, the traitors that got fucked. Let's go deserved. Do we even know their names? Doesn't matter. Yes, both their mustaches just pricked them off. What's what's Olivia doing? What? Save Angie for me. Bitch, why don't you do it yourself? So Leon versus this princess next episode, yeah? Oh, it's not a sword. It's a flute. Never mind. I thought that was a sword. And that's our new prize, uh, uh, air, air, air card thing, right? Sword, right? Squirts? Oh, that item must control the CGI fish monsters. Gotcha. Okay, this episode was a pretty great setup, actually. Like, the speech was probably one of the most, um... That's probably the hype, most hype part, right? Damn, I can't believe Chris, and again, the fact that I'm even remembering his name, it's kind of... It sucks for me, but for the better of the story, yeah, they're all getting development, it's fine. Don't worry, we can still shit on, I believe, uh, the prince and uh, who's the other one? The green-haired guy, maybe? I uh, know we already fucking did it with the green-haired guy. They're, they're all getting fucking better, this, is, this sucks. But the speech here was pretty fucking epic. He was able to rally everyone in a weird way, because everybody hates him, right? But because he's like the villain right now, kind of. He says some shit, lights everybody's ass on fire, Princess Daedre pretty much shows up and then unites them. And then she... This kind of falls for Leon because she likes the way that he's like a savage dog. You know, he's uncontrollable, I guess, you know. 
<laughs> royal princess is like that, like a like a like a savage, like a brute. So, all right, I mean, she's there too, but I'm still personally, I'm still personally with the queen. There was some stuff here going on with the item about how the element, the the symbol of the sword thing that he got was a little bit different, which might be important, right? Because it said that it should buff his like melee skills, but he said the design is different, which implies something a little bit better. And for the future, we haven't seen Marie in a while, but the next episodes, so it looks like she like used the flute, right? And then the sky monsters are fucking walking around. But if we destroy the flute, what if the fish monster starts to attack the princess? And then we save her against her own monsters. And then the princess falls for us and then we get another harem. Just my guess. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.